Let's look at the very cool reverb by Hofa. This one is part of their IQ series and it's called the Reverb V2. Hey, what's going on? The Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Now, if you're new here on the channel or if you've been watching my videos for quite a while and you're still not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Share and like if you enjoyed this video. So let's talk about this very nice plugin by Hofa. Before we jump in, I just want to mention that Hofa did not pay me whatsoever to produce this video. They just sent me a license to the plugin and that's it. So I am 100% free to say whatever I want about this plugin. So this is not a sponsored video video whatsoever. So let's jump right in Cubase and look at what we have uh, as far as this reverb goes. Now, this is a convolution reverb, meaning that it works with impulse responses. So if we look on the website, this is what we have. We have more than two, uh, 2,270 high quality impulse responses. For IR engines, when we talk about IR, we are referring to impulse response uh, and also two extra algorithmic units. So it's uh, very nice. We're gonna look at those later on. It's full 5.1 surround capability and it has a bunch of uh, effects like AQ compression, uh, modulation, saturation, and uh, so on. So we're going to look at those later. Now there's two versions. The one that comes with more than 2000 impulse responses is the IQ series reverb V2 with IR packs. Okay. But there's a basic version that comes with 15 hundred impulse responses that is a bit cheaper okay this one goes for 250 euros and the full pack it goes for 300 euros so let's go back in cubase and look at what we have as far as the gui goes it looks very modern and sophisticated uh, looks complicated to get around but in reality it's not that complicated um, it's pretty straightforward and uh, easy to work with in my opinion anyways uh, we have a very cool feature right on top here which is the test feature Feature where you can sample an instrument that they have preloaded within the plugin if you want to test an impulse response uh, before you work with it, which is actually quite uh, cool. So there's a snare, there's two basses, uh, a bunch of drums, uh, guitars, the uh, keys, you know, orchestra instruments, and so on. All the units are right here on top. So we have four units for uh, the, the impulse responses and two for the algorithmic reverbs, which is quite cool. So if you end up loading more than one, impulse response in your reverb you have that master section here where you can balance all of those irs and the algorithmic reverbs all together which is very useful on the right side we have the smart browser uh, to load and search for the uh, the correct impulse response for your use and there's different ways you can look for an ir you can go by category type usage uh, limits library uh, i kind of like the usage one which is quite nice because it goes according to the instrument you want to work with. Uh, for example, this uh, reverb is inserted as an insert effect on a stereo drum recording. So I'm going to select drums and this is going to show me all the, um, uh, the IRs available that will work well with drums. Um, so right now, by default, large famous bright plate is loaded. Now I'm going to bring down the wet mix knob since uh, the effect is uh, inserted as an insert effect on my channel.
So this is just a brief listen on the different types of IRs that we get with this reverb. So by clicking on category, we have the list of what we get. And it goes uh, from hall, plate, room, spring, you know, to reverse, gated, and so on. So it gives you a very nice selection. So I'm going to go back to the famous bright plate for now, since it's a large one. And let's look at what we have at the bottom of the plugin. At the bottom, we have the reverb parameters and effects. So reverb time is the first one. And this is going to allow you to reduce or increase the time of the reverb. And you can also do it by frequency bands, which is actually very nice. Okay, so I just reduced the um, uh, the reverb time out of the uh, the mids and the low frequencies. I'm gonna go and activate the EQ, bring some low pass filter, and also a high pass filter to clean the top and the bottom end of the signal to keep that reverb a bit more transparent. In this section, we have access to the early reflection, reverb tail. So if you want to add some pre-delay, this is the place to be. And the cool thing about the pre-delay that they have is that they have two pre-delays on this reverb. And that could be very cool. Let's try it out. Okay, let's go now and look at the IR cut. Let's say I love the density of the reverb, but I just want to cut uh, the length of the reverb. I actually can do that straight on this section. Let's try it. Okay, so there's a lot of possibilities there. Uh, we also have modulation. I'm gonna look at that later on, maybe on a piano or a vocal. And there's position here where you'll be able to just position the reverb anywhere within the uh, stereo field. Now, this is actually pretty cool because I didn't know about that one. But if you double click on the X, you're going to get the left and right um, and dependent from each other. So this way you can actually play even more with the image, with the stereo image of the reverb. Pretty interesting. Then we have the saturator, which is going to add saturation to the reverb. <laughs> Okay, now this reverb is way too long. Uh, let me bring down the reverb time all together just a bit. There you go. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. A compressor if you want to control the dynamics of the reverb, a gate also that can be useful. Um, so what I'm going to do here, let me bring back the reverb time up just a bit and I'm going to load a second impulse response. And this time around, let's go with something very short. Let's go with the Ambi Big Stereo. We'll see how that goes. I just muted the first, uh, the first unit and now we're just listening to the second impulse response. <laughs> Okay, pretty cool. Let's go to the master section and blend the two together. Very cool. Now that bright plate blended with the uh, uh, the big ambience, which is a short ambience, sound very good. Okay, now let's listen to the reverb on the piano. Uh, 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on usage and look for uh, something that would fit with the piano. Let's go with something crazy and load dome, which is huge. OK, so let's check this one out. <laughs> wow. This is huge. Okay, now let's go with something a bit more normal, like a plate. Now let's try it on a vocal. Now for this one, the Hofa V2 is inserted as an effects channel track. Uh, so I'm gonna have full control over the dry and wet balance uh, with the fader that I have on my fader port controller. So let's try a few ones. Found home, but I got it wrong. Found love, had to let it go. Don't know where we lost control. We gave every inch of our soul. And I don't know if I have it in me To let somebody in again And I don't know if I really believe Now that's a very nice haul And I don't know if I have it in me Okay, something nice, if we click on master, uh, we have all the effects uh, that are gonna work with the master section only. So we can add saturation on all the, uh, the combination of uh, the impulse responses uh, that we have loaded and also the algo reverbs uh, that we have. Um, same for compressor, gate, and we also have Ducker. Okay, and Ducker is actually very nice. And this again will apply on the full, the combination of all uh, impulse responses loaded. So so that will duck the reverb every time the signal that is feeding the reverb comes in. So in this case, the vocal. So every time the vocal comes in, the reverb gets ducked just a bit, depending on the amount of threshold. Found home, but I got it wrong. Found love, had to let it go. Don't know where we lost control. We gave every inch of our soul. So this will be similar to what we get with sidechain compression on a reverb. So uh, it's going to act the same way. But this time, you know, we have it straight within the reverb, which is always cool to have. And then we have an EQ also for the, uh, the combination of all reverbs. Let's try on that same vocal. Let's try the algo algorithmic reverb. Found home, but I got it wrong. Found love, had to let it go. Don't know where we lost control. We gave every inch of our soul. And I don't know if I have it in me To let somebody in again And I don't know if I really believe And I don't know if I have it in me That is a good sounded algorithmic reverb. Okay, now let's try an electric guitar. I love this reverb a lot. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this reverb. There are some features like uh, uh, the ducker. You know, I would have loved to see the ducker um, effect straight on a IR unit, you know, on each of them. Um, it's cool, it's like it's on the master effects uh, section. However, it would have been cool to have that. Like we have with compression, saturation, and the gate, uh, it, would, it would be cool to see the ducker on each uh, IR uh, units. Now, one last thing is the EQ. Um, like for me, it's kind of, um, you know, sometimes it's not super easy just to uh, to check the type uh, and to, to go from one type to uh, one filter type to another or to uh, to check on the uh, on the slope, you know? So you, 
always sometimes you need to play around to make sure it's not moving and then you select the slope now i'm gonna have to get back here and there you go so this is kind of uh, it, it can be annoying at some point uh, but that's it you know but it still works very well and that is the only thing that for me can be improved on the plugin so this is basically what you get with the reverb v2 by hofa i love this plugin a lot in my opinion it's one of the best if not the best convolution reverb out there um, all the effects that we have access to are very cool to work with so there's a lot you can do within one plugin and the fact that you can blend the several irs and also algorithmic reverbs together is very powerful so it makes this reverb like a reverb on steroids <laughs> basically so check it out i'm gonna leave the link down below so if you have any questions or comments leave everything in the comment section and also share like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here until next time take care and see you.